once everything's all squared and lined up, we fill those with gravel. We're building raised bed planters for the horticulture program of Gateway High School. It's an amazing effort as a part of the Clinton Global Initiative University, and these are students from Washington University in St. Louis. And that person over there is the Dean of Arts and Sciences. <laughs> She's pounding nails and building beds along with the rest of us. We're getting all the bases of the planters started, digging the foundations, putting in the cinder blocks and gravel. It's a collaborative design, so we can't necessarily uh, pinpoint one, one student mastermind behind the whole thing. It very much evolved organically out of the participatory process. There are a lot of architecture, landscape architecture, and even a few urban design students here today and uh, students from across the university helping out. So we have a project binder um, that has the plan drawings in it, the design drawings. It says do this first, then this, then this, then this. So that's hopefully an easy way for anyone of any background to participate. It's really fun to actually be out here and do the stuff. It, it feels very productive and very fun and very rewarding to be out here. Education changes your mind um, and architecture, architecture changes the world. and. Uh, Architecture education is dangerous because it does both. These students have worked with the faculty and students here at Gateway High School, so we hope that this contributes to their curriculum in horticulture. But what we also know is that beyond the product of the work that they're doing, in other words, the raised bed planters, they're also developing experiences and relationships that are incredibly important. Working together, figuring out how to do that, how to organize a complex set of activities with a lot of people. Um, the experience itself is a part of the product and uh, this, these students won't soon forget that.